Hey. Hey. Huh. You have crossed the line. I didn't want to do this, but as punishment. You shall know sickness, pain in childbirth. And you will have a finite lifespan. Poof. He he that will show him. But sir, how is that a punishment? It's just normal human biology. Psst, they don't know that. Map, this sucks. To think we would have been immortal. <laughs> he he sucks to suck. And you, serpent, shall crawl on your belly. Up. Poof. Poof. Previously on AOG. The day of reckoning is upon us. Brace yourselves. The apocalypse has come, and God has spared me. Map, that spoke really did a number on him. Hum hum. Haha. <laughs> so we are the survivors. What's up with this guy? Maybe he knows something we don't, just go along with it. Let's build a new world, and make God proud. You'll be in charge of building, and you'll be in charge of foraging. Christ, this guy still hasn't realized he's in hell. Epic, be a dear and break the news to him. With pleasure. So Mr. Thompson, you have an interesting profile. Hum. A cult leader who used his wicked persuasion skills to coax money out of his devout followers you belong in hell, which is where you are right now. Well the lord needs strong leaders in this post-apocalyptic hellscape. I'm happy he chose me. Sigh. No, you don't understand. You. Are. In. Hell. You died. Not possible. If we aren't in hell, then explain these tormented souls toiling away. What does God intend you to do with them, huh? Just some hard working, salt of the earth lads. They'll be essential for rebuilding the world. And the lava everywhere. Let me guess, God wants us to capture its geothermal energy. My boy, that's it, you're a genius, we'll need your brains. Oh wow, thanks, it's actually an idea I suggested to Satan, to run our torture devices. Ebag. Why is this delusional man being punished yet, surely he's aware, now that he's in hell. Oh my god. The pointy ears, the blood red skin, the horns, you must be. A poor, poor innocent victim of radiation. No worries, we will take care of your blistered skin and disfigured face. How dare you speak to me, Lucifer, like that, I will make you suffer like no other. And yet. Your hair is so elegant, and inspiring a glimmer of hope in this dark, dark world, curious. Who does your hair? I do. You'll be in charge of grooming, we must look dignified in the eyes of God, when he returns for us. No that's not happening, I'm taking you to the 8th circle of hell where you will be punished. Just one day. Cleus. Sigh. The shelter and garden look great, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm here to introduce you all to a product that will change your life. It's hair buyback. This lotion will grow back all of your hair in just a matter of hours. May God strike me down if I'm lying. Making a fool out of me, huh? Whoa there, sir. There's no need to smite him. The people will see to it themselves that he's found out for his lies. Believe in humanity. Oh yeah, you're right, Gabe. Guess I got carried away. Happens to the best of us, sir. Is it environmentally safe? Made with only the most eco-friendly ingredients. May God strike me down if I'm lying. Why that son of a... Believe, Gabe, believe. Don't just take my word for it. I'm Dry Lushi, and I approve this product. Not an actual doctor. Oh that, you guys really need to pick your battles. Here are the 9 commandments, got. Hum how about changing the font, let's 90 with courier more bold and intriguing. A, maybe make it double spaced, let it breathe a lil, you know. That's, that's it, it's perfect. Now off you go. Thank you, got. Whoops. God damn it. On second thought, 
Don't take the Lord's name in vain. Put that in there. Okay, I guess I can add it to the end. Make it. Start over. Noah, don't you think 40 days is a bit excessive? I can't stand to be on this boat another day. I know, but it is God's plan. Everything he does has a purpose. I'm sure he's counting down the days with us. Day 37 already. Should have gone for 50 days. How about checking on your crew to see if they are okay? Like, alright. They'll be fine. solar eclipse is upon us, which means only one thing, do Many prophesize this solar eclipse will bring on the apocalypse, summoning fiery demons from the chasms of hell. Ah, every time there's an eclipse, people expect the end of the world. Ridiculous right, sir. Oh come on, we go through this every time. Lucifer is not planning the apocalypse. That's what he wants you to think. Sigh. Hey Lucifer, it's Gabe it's happening again. Would you mind coming? Great, see you soon. Thanks for coming, this way. Sir, someone is here to see you. Lucy? Don't call me that. Look, you gotta relax. Man the solar eclipse isn't a sign of my return. It's actually a natural phenomenon. That's correct, it's when. It's when the moon blocks the sun. I could have said that. You see, there's nothing to fear, demons won't just randomly appear or anything. You mean it? Sure do, so how about you get out of that fort, and we watch the eclipse together? Sounds good. Well, so majestic. Hold up, if both of you are here, then who's watching over hell? The fiery demons. The apocalypse is upon us. We should really secure the portal. Congratulations, gang, we survived the apocalypse. What? Ignore him, he's delusional. Hey. And lastly, I forbid you from taking any fruit from that tree. Poof. Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Oh, uh, hey. Oh wow, that fruit looks good, you should totally try one. No, God said that eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil is forbidden. See you later, Gator. Wait. Maybe that tree is forbidden. But did he say anything about this one? A, A. But like why does he get to dictate good and evil? How do you objectively define goodness? Is morality absolute? Dude, totally. Right. Oh man, I got the munchies. Me too. Oh that yellow fruit looks delish. My wife left me, and I lost my job. God, please show me the way. That's not funny. Thanks for nothing, God. I tried. Yes sir, yes you did. Why do people always ignore my signs? What's wrong, Gabe? Just reading some internet comments. Most of it is just so negative. God doesn't exist. God, lol. If God exists, then why does my life suck? Check out my mixtape God is dead. But I think I have a solution. I want to implement some AI bots to respond to these messages with healthy discourse. Healthy discourse. Sounds dumb. Let me handle this. But sir. B. Let's see how they respond to this. God doesn't exist. Oh yeah. If God doesn't exist, then explain how the Bible is the word of God. What? That doesn't even make sense. Troll. See that? He's panicking. Let's do another one. You think you know everything. Answer this. Can God create a rock so heavy he could not lift it? Uh-oh. He signed out. Did you really wet yourself in middle school?